There's something unique happening in the Australian property market that we're all part of. Better Building Partnership for Sydney is a really exciting collaboration between building owners and the City Council. We have five working groups that have already started. Uh, they cover energy, water, waste, tenants, and the fifth one being measurement. The benchmarking working group of the Better Buildings Partnership is a really important working group in that all the building owners have committed to assisting the city in achieving the Sustainable Sydney 2030 outcomes and that is a 70% reduction of greenhouse gas by 2030. One of the first roles of the benchmarking uh, working group is to actually measure the current performance of the partners within the group. And we're doing that via um, a survey method and, and we'll also be um, having a website developed that the building owners can input their data about the performance of their buildings. We're going to be um, measuring the progress over time and then reporting that back to the general public about our performance. And we think that's a really important role because we have to be transparent, we have to show progress and showing our stakeholders that we're actually working towards achieving our goals. So here at Darling Quarter is a fantastic example about how numbers can really help tell the story. As you come up through the foyer, there's a huge display that talks about the performance of the building. So it shows you the greenhouse footprint of the building, it also shows the, the water consumption, the current recycling targets, and this really helps to, to inform people. You know, they see it every day, they see the performance of this, and it actually starts to drive a culture of understanding their environmental footprint and actually taking actions to do something about that and to reduce that. We're hoping that through the Better Buildings Partnership Benchmarking Working Group that we're going to be start to make the invisible visible. For too long now, people have had a real difficulty understanding their environmental footprint because you know, they haven't had the tools available to them. This working group will start to provide those tools. It will start to communicate what people's and what buildings environmental footprints are around the city and this information we will hope empower people. It will help to allow people to understand how progress is being made and it will also help people to understand what the targets need to be in the future. The really exciting thing about this working group is it can show how the actions of individuals contribute to the performance of a building, how that building performance can contribute to the performance of a precinct and how those precincts come together to demonstrate leadership in environmental performance of the City of Sydney in a global context.